you know, often the interesting way forward, the, inno the innovative way forward, comes from the ability to connect ideas that may not have been strongly connected before. Mm -hmm. So when I get to go, hey, there's that thing over there in science, and there's that thing over there in art, and there's that thing over here in business, and I wonder how they all blend together and they fit in some way. That, that's an interesting place to be. Your, your coach is about somebody who plays a role of championing curiosity, championing you, and showing up with that fierce love to say, look, I'm on your side and I want to push you and encourage you to be the best version of yourself. And by more coach-like, we mean this. Can you stay curious a little bit longer? Can you rush to action and advice giving a little bit more slowly? Mm. And that shift of behavior is something that doesn't matter if you're a big boss leader, mi middle of the pack, an individual contributor, a brand new employee, showing up in this world, being a bit curious a little bit longer and rushing to action and advice giving a little bit more slowly is a good skill to have. You know, I didn't get really bullied for having a speech impediment, but I did have... Uh, moments of self-consciousness about how I looked because I have a cleft lip and palate. So, you know, I've got uh, a kind of slightly weird upper lip. I've got a slightly weird nose. It's very kind of typical of what cleft lip kids look like. The three buckets, bad work is mind numbing, soul sucking, boring, tedious work. Most people know what I'm talking about when I say that. Good work is your job description. So it's productive, efficient, getting things done. And great work is the work that has more impact and the work that has more meaning. So it has both of those things, kind of the external thing and the internal thing. But here's why I do it. So when, I, um, when I'm giving a keynote speech and I'm introduced, I'm trying to lessen my status to the, to the group I'm speaking to um, because I'm trying to play a game where I'm trying to have the audience engage with me and be engaged with what I've got to say to them. But actually being curious a bit longer um, plays into issues around power and control and status. Because when you're the person who is the one with the answer, the one with the solution, the one with the decision, it's very self rewarding. I mean, literally mm. you get little hits of positive chemicals in the brain going, oh, this is awesome. I'm, I'm the big top dog. I've got the idea. I'm the important person here. And when you move to being more coach-like, you embrace this idea of servant leadership. And the servant leadership pieces around, how do I make sure that my people finish off better than when they started?